Okay, so like Beyonce did her rebranding. I think I should do some rebranding. Uh, she called herself, what did she call herself? Sasha Fierce. I think it's time for me to do some rebranding. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think I'm gonna be Soho Sarah. That's what I'm gonna be. Hey there, Sarah Michelle Brack here, your virtual video director. And today I wanna talk all about rebranding my business and how that can help you on camera. All right. Let's get into this. I wanted to share with you some really important lessons that I learned in 2015 because it's literally transforming my business. And I think it'll give you some great tips on how you can use these lessons to get better on camera and to be more authentic in your business. So let's dive into my top three branding lessons of 2015. Okay, so number one is listen to your peers. Yeah, you surround yourself with these amazing people who are in different industries as you, the similar industries as you, and they have advice sometimes. And when the choir starts to sing the exact same tune, maybe it's time to listen. So I had a um, very fantastic group of friends uh, who are also peers, entrepreneurs, fabulous women, who were telling me, Sarah, you know, you're an artist, you're a director, you're an actual filmmaker, and you need to lead with that in your business. You need to really bring it to your business. And I was just like, no way. And I'll tell you straight up, I had this fear that if I put my artistry into my business, that I would no longer need to be an artist. I wouldn't need to express that creative energy and that creative drive anymore. And guess what? In 2015, I realized that I was wrong about this. So, Listening to my peers and hearing the same thing over and over again really helped me to understand that I was not doing myself a service or my customers a service by pretending that I wasn't an artist. Like, it's crazy. I can't believe I did that. So totally listen to your peers. If you're hearing the same thing from them over and over and over again, maybe you should kind of, you know, listen. <laughs> that leads me to number two. So number two is don't compartmentalize your strengths. So as I had mentioned, I felt like if I was gonna be an entrepreneur, I needed to be an entrepreneur and not an artist. And I felt like, you know, I gotta walk the walk that entrepreneurs walk. And yeah, I'm a little ashamed to admit that because um, really, you know, doing videos and putting your business out there, period, is all about being yourself, you know? It's really showing up as you are. So, you know, I found I was putting pieces of myself. You know, I'm a big Star Wars nerd, so you'll see Star Wars throughout the website in a few places. But the big giant elephant in the room of being an artist, I was compartmentalizing it and putting it to the side. And then I had this epiphany that was literally like, note to self, Sarah, like you are happiest when you're creative. And if you're building a business that's not based on your strengths, like that's not the smartest thing to do. It really isn't. So if you find that you are leaving any big parts of yourself that bring you joy, that people respond to the most, and you're putting it in a nice little box and hiding it away, like don't do that. Bring bring yourself to your business 150,000%. Do it, I'm telling you. Number three is uh, go for the joy. And that's literally what it means. You know, go for the joy of what brings you happiness in your life, what brings you happiness in your business, what are you passionate about? Put those things in your business. Like, make space for them. Make room for them to live and breathe. Because then when you go and visit your website or you check out your videos or you're posting something out on social media, it all is coming from a place of joy and it's all coming from a place of love. Just put what makes you happy into your business. Trust me, it makes a big, big, big difference. So how can my top lessons from 2015 help you when it comes to making videos and being on camera and all that fun stuff? Number one, listen to your peers. If you can, when you're doing your videos, try and get some feedback from people, people that you trust, people that you love, to know if you're missing the mark, if your personality is shining in your videos. It could be something like you've done your first video and you're like, okay, I wanna get a little bit of feedback, a little bit of love on it, show it to your peers. And you know, they may say something like, you know, you're really funny in person and you should bring more of your humor to your videos, you know, stuff like that. So definitely listen to your peers, listen to those loving kind words and a little bit of soft and tough love for them, okay? And the second way that these tips can help you being on camera and doing videos for your business is the whole compartmentalizing things. So really what this is about is about bringing all of you to your videos. It's working towards that as a goal. Because it's not necessarily gonna be easy at first. You may press record and you're freaking out and you're totally frozen. You're like, ah, what am I doing? 
doing? But eventually, after practice, you'll be able to bring more of yourself to your videos, okay? So just keep that in mind. You don't want to leave your best parts out in the uh, cold. And it is cold outside right now. It's like there's snow on the ground and I'm not going out there. And the third way that my rebranding lessons can help you with your videos and being on camera and all that fun stuff is the whole go for the joy kind of aspect of it. So when you're pressing record, if you're finding that you're just, you're not happy on camera, do something that makes you happy. Put on some belly dancing music or eat an ice cream cone or something. Do something to help make you feel more happy and bring things around you that bring you joy. So maybe you have a dog and that dog brings you joy. Try some videos out where you have your dog in a shot with you. I know they can be painful when you're first getting started and you know you're sweating and freaking out and all that stuff, but trust me, try to find that joy, that little bit of something that you can bring in the room with you when you're doing these and have a little bit of fun. Bring your best friend your BFF, bringing your friend into the room, okay? So that's it, those are the tips. Hold up, first of all, before you go, I want you to take some action today because seriously, we need to take action on these things. It's the only way you're gonna get better at doing this stuff, okay? So I want you to go ahead and leave a comment below and I want you to tell me which of those three lessons you will use, commit to it, something you will use in your next video, okay? All right, leave a comment, I'm serious, I'm serious. Yes, I am still rebranding my videos. The videos are the last thing that will have the magic uh, sauce put on them. So stay tuned. There's gonna be some fun stuff coming up this year. I'm very excited about 2016. Anyhow, Sarah Michelle Brown, virtual video director, signing off. And just wanna say, dream up. Twenty sixteen, the year of the wave. Rebranding twenty fifteen. Ow.